Yo, how are you doing guys? Welcome to another video. This is going to be on the free-to-play game Severium. This is a free-to-play survival themed first-person shooter. Make sure to check the description below for the timestamp so you can skip to a certain part of the video. Also, there'll be a link to my Twitch channel, a link to my Discord, a link to the Severium official Discord, and a link to the web website. Download the game on Steam. As I said, it's completely free-to-play. I'll also be giving free promo codes away in this video. So people can get like some great starting gear, you know, get a little head start on the game. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Let's get on with it. All right, so you've made your character. You finally got into the main menu. You've had to pick your faction, design your character, all that. Don't worry about what faction you pick in the slightest little bit. On the home menus you can click here and you can change your faction at any time all the factions are is you will level up that faction so if i go to the shop here we've got the scavengers i am level three in but the resistant army i'm level four in trying to unlock level five that's all the factions are don't worry about it you can change it anytime now i want to get one thing out of the way as soon as possible obviously you're going to see this get gold when you go to the shop you're going to see gold items is the game pay to win no <laughs> all right no the game isn't pay to win so there um there's for me there's three different type of games there's pay to win there's pay to have now and there is just you know completely free games all right so this is a pay to have now game right so you can get everything in the game it's going to be a bit of a grind but you can get everything in the game without spending a single penny on the game one thing I would advise you to do is, if you're really enjoying the game, get the starter pack on Steam. We'll have, we'll have a quick look at that now. The Severium Ultimate Steam starter pack. It's a great starter pack. If you are going to spend money on it, I'd say get this. So you're going to get yourself a SVD, an AKM, and an Uzi. The SVD is going to be silenced. The AKM is going to have a two-time scope on the Uzi. is going to have a uh, red dot on. These are really good starting weapons, but you don't need to get them. You can get all this stuff in the game without spending a penny on it anyway. So let's get back to the menu. Oh, that. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, like I said, there'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. First things first, I want to talk about armor. So if you click onto your inventory, you're going to sit, notice you'll have some armor on the left hand side here. Just drag that over, chuck it all on, you know, chuck your weapons on, make sure you're all kitted out. You're going to make sure you've got, you make sure you've done that or you're going to struggle. <laughs> now, with the armor, um, each it like there's lots of different armor sets in the game as you can see i'm wearing the master bulletproof vest so to go with that i have the master's gloves the master's boots the master's pants the master's uh master hood now the reason i've got all these on is if you hover over it and look down at the bottom you'll see free breath hold time plus 10 percent so if i wear three master armor pieces i can hold my breath for 10 percent longer if i wear five master armor pieces i can get minus 15 percent scope sway so my scope ain't going about everywhere i can hold an artifact because it's got one artifact container and my aim time is minus 15 percent so i can scope in 15 percent quicker what i mean by artifact is these these little things called artifacts in the game i'll get on with that on a different part maybe on an advanced guide or something like that because there is a lot to go over in this set uh, in this video but yeah as you can see you want to get sets of armor now if you go to the shop you can see I'm on the resistant army, uh, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. As you level up, you'll unlock different sets. Tier 4 resistant army, you can get yourself a sniper set. You know, the uh, top trousers, you know, etc, etc. Tier 5, this is what I'm trying to unlock now. You can get the Zum UM, UM4 set. The Zum set is what I am after. That is the ultimate tank set. Uh, again, when I said about pay to win, you know, you can get this set down here. You can get loads of different sets. Me personally, if you want to be like tanky and you know like tech all that damage, the Zum set is the absolute best set in the game. If you want to be a sniper, you want to go to the Scavengers tier five and you want to get yourself a Nomad set, which is here. To me, this is the best sniper set in the game. The pay to play stuff, you know, you can get it, but it's not going to give you an edge because you can just get the normal stuff by grinding. Now, the reason I say it's not pay to win, because you think, oh, well, if I buy all this stuff, then I've not got to grind it all. Hang on, the game works on an ELO system. So the better you do in a game, the harder your, your opponents are going to be. You know, you're gonna end up playing playing against players with uh, a higher ELO. So if you buy all this better stuff, 
and then go into a game and destroy all these noobs, like you'll absolutely wreck them because obviously you've got better armor, you've got better guns. But then you're going to go against the players, you know, that have got high elo that have been playing the game for a long time, that have all their, you know, they're probably level 100 or something, you know, they've got all the skills unlocked. They, they know the maps, they know what they're doing. You honestly don't don't focus too much on like oh i can just buy stuff like go for the grind take your time and you'll do a lot better off trust me right second part let's get into the skills all right so you can level up in the game you can do your um firearms physical knowledge of the forest technical and survival now this all comes down to your player style what you want to be going for me personally i've gone for max firearms I've gone for a little bit into the survival just to get the additional medicine and I've gone for a little bit is into physical because I want to get this pack right up to level 5 which means when I'm carrying batteries for the battery game mode I don't get no negative uh, run speed because it like slows you down. But yeah these are as you level up you'll get a skill point you chuck it into wherever you want to go. Make sure don't like don't just start chucking them here there and everywhere make sure you read everything and you get a good understanding of the skills. Right on to the weapons. So let's go to inventory, I'm going to left click on, actually let's go to my first class, here we go. I've got my AK-12 here, now all the weapons can be modified and upgraded if I right click on my AK-12 here and go to the workshop. As you can see, we've got a tactical grip on it, we've got a red dot on it, and we've got a candid sight on it. So I can change this red dot by left clicking. These are bound, bound uh, attachments, these are ones that I've already equipped to this gun, so just put the three times on, press confirm, press OK, boom. I now have a free time scope with a candid red dot on the side. Um, so if you want to get some attachments for your gun, when you ever you play a game, you'll get some parts and you can make attachments with 200 parts or you can just buy attachments with 200 gold. Also, every time you win a game, you will get a random free attachment for a random gun. So you can either save them for when you get that gun or you just hope you get one for the gun that you've got. That's how the attachment system works. If you left click or say here, right tactical module, this will be a laser sight. It's gonna come up like this, showing all oh, 200 gold. I thought I could buy it with parts. All you have to do is click craft. Now you can make them with parts. But I have spoke to the devs. I think they're spinning this around so it'll come up with the parts system rather than the gold system straight away because a lot of people get lost in this menu. Then you've got unbound. Um, I can show you on the grip part here actually. Unbound is for attachments that will fit on this gun, but I've not actually bound them to the gun. I've not equipped them. Bound are attachments that I put on this gun. So, you know, I could put like this grip on it instead. I could put this grip on it instead. But I'm going to stick with this grip because this is my favorite one personally. And then you've got premium, obviously, where you buy them with uh, with real gold. But yeah, there's my, um, there's my AK-12. Now, another thing you might have noticed is, wait a minute, why is this green, why is this purple, is you can upgrade your attachments, I'll get onto that in an advanced video, I'm not going to do it in this one, because like I said, there is a lot to cover. Next thing, you can do this with armor and weapons, is upgrades, I'm not going to do it on this one, because this is a tier 5 weapon, so it costs a lot of parts to upgrade it, but if I go down to, let's say, some tier 1 gloves, these are cheap and cheerful. Go to the workshop on my gloves and now you can see i've got upgrades i can get a third upgrade slot here four parts 50 percent chance four gold 100 percent chance use four parts unfortunately it failed so i've now wasted them parts try again unfortunately it failed wow that's unlucky <laughs> try again there we go and now you can get little bonuses like aim time stuff like that collection time extra armor you can also do that with your weapons, like, you know, you can aim faster, less recoil, stuff like that. So, like I said, the game is a bit of a grind, but you'll get there. Trust me, you will get, you will get there. Alright, so now you know about weapons, you know about armor, you've gone into your inventory, you've put everything on, you want to get into a game. Now, there's three different types of games. If we click play, you've got, well, there's five, technically. You've got rating match, which you need to have at least tier three equipment. So you won't be able to play this straight away unless you win one of the promo codes that I said I was going to give out. There's PvP, which anyone can jump in at any time. This is what you're going to be going for. There's training with bots if you want to practice. Tutorials, you know, we don't want to start a tutorial, but it is there if you do want it. And there's team missions. On team's missions, this is where you have to go through. It's like a PvE mission, like a raid. Uh, you collect these boxes, and if you get to the end, you keep the boxes. The boxes will open at the end, and you'll get 
anything here that's on this list. So easy, you can get any of the tier one stuff. Go to medium, you can get some of the pre some of the premium tier one and tier two stuff, and then uh, some of the tier three stuff from the normal. Go to hard. You want to be doing this on hard. If you do it once a day, you can get ten boxes. If you do it more than once a day after that, you can only get three boxes. But yeah, you want to do that on like easy and medium to learn the map, learn where the boxes are, then get onto hard, unlock some good stuff. But yeah, just click play, team missions, PvP. But anyway, now you know how to upgrade your weapons, you know how to upgrade your armor. Um, another thing with armor, actually, that I should have said is if you go hover over the armor, you can see pockets and capacity. Um, right, so the pockets is you get these slots here where you can put stuff in, like throwing sensors, med kits. Defense totems C4. You will unlock these as you are leveling up your um, your factions. Each faction has their own med kits and their own type of explosions. Sorry, I should have said that earlier. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's about what all I can chuck into a beginner's guide on this. Because like I said, there is a lot to do on this game. An advanced guide will come very soon, so I can really get in depth on this. Uh, that will be a lot longer though, like because there is a lot with this game. It is a very good game. There is a lot to it. So, yeah, that's it. So, if you want to try and win one of the promo codes, just drop down into the comments, type, I'm playing Severium. That'll put you in, I'll make it like a little raffle for when I do the advanced video and then I'll announce the winners. And, um, yeah, we'll sort it out from there. So, just like I said, go into the comments, I play Severium. Please be a new player. Don't be don't be someone that's been playing the game for a while because I'd rather get these out to new players so we can bring more players to the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It's a great game. You can check out some gameplay, gameplay on my YouTube channel. Like I said, check the description below for the links to my Twitch where I stream the game every night. A link to my uh, Discord where you know all my community gets together. A link to the official Discord for Severium and a link to the official website. So peace out, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.